In this video you will learn everything you need to know to switch to UEFI, what preparations you should make and what you can do if something still goes wrong. Hello and welcome to LIBE.net. Windows 10 can use Legacy or UEFI as boot mode, Windows 11 only UEFI. Originally, switching a Windows 10 installation from Legacy BIOS to UEFI boot mode was relatively complex. Today, thanks to the MBR2GPT command, the switch is quite simple, but still not without risk. As an alternative to MBR2GPT, you can also prepare the hard disk for a UEFI boot with the Linux tool test disk and the Windows setup media. To be prepared for all eventualities, a Windows setup DVD or Windows setup USB boot medium should be downloaded and created before modifying the hard disk. Before adjusting the hard disk with the tools presented here, please also check whether the PC can boot with the medium by restarting the computer with it. The boot medium is our insurance in case something does not work when converting the hard disk. More about this later. The MBR2GPT command does all the necessary steps to switch to UEFI. MBR2GPT changes the hard drive layout from MBR to GPT, creates an EFI partition, and copies the boot files. Originally, the command could only be executed from a Windows PE environment such as a Windows setup media with an additional parameter the conversion of the hard disk can be done directly from the running operating system. Before I start the command, I check the hard disk layout again and start the disk management. In the properties of the hard disk the partition type can be displayed, here MBR. The layout of the hard disk will be extended by an EFI partition later for the change to UEFI, as already announced. A look at the system information shows us that the legacy BIOS mode is active. So, everything checked, let's switch to UEFI. I start the command prompt as administrator and enter the MBRTGPT command first with the validate parameter to verify the conversion. The allow full OS parameter allows the conversion with a running system. If the output is successful, we can replace the validate parameter with convert and start the conversion with that. If everything worked we now only have to change the computer to UEFI in the BIOS so that it starts again, the BIOS can usually be called by pressing a certain key when starting the computer. Most computers write a short note at startup with which key the call can be made, for example with F10 F2 ESC or delete. After switching to UEFI in BIOS, the computer starts with UEFI as boot mode. Here again a view into the disk management. We see an FE partition and as partitions layout GPT in the properties. In case the computer should not boot after the change to UEFI, we can insert the prepared boot medium and boot from it first. After the language selection, I switch to computer repair and start the command prompt. With the disk part command we can display the hard disk and its partition layout. The disk 0 is already of the GPT type. I select the disk 0, with select disk 0. The command list partition shows us that the FE partition, here with type system has already been created. If the disk is neither formatted with GPT, nor a partition of type system exists, the command mbr to gpt command can be called again. This time the chances are better, since we are in the Windows PE environment. If the disk layout is already of type GPT and an FE partition exists, but the computer still does not boot, you can try to recreate the boot files. I select the FE partition with Select Partition 3 and assign a drive letter.
Now I check if the folder FE Microsoft is present on the FE partition and try to find out with which drive letter my Windows installation was connected. I found Windows with D colon and the command dar. The boot files can now be created again with the command bcd boot. For more details and additional articles visit my website libe.net, subscribe to this channel for more and leave me a thumb. Thanks a lot and see you next time.